spot of the leopards. And we definitely, I was doubting to leave this water hole because the way the birds giving us. And the birds are look at, the, very clever. Look at this Aramak Baba from there, they can see a leopard. Tiny little eyes, we've got a big eyes here. We were able to get to see it from there. And all of them suddenly the faces straight directly to the leopard and we just want to enjoy the leopard while we're here. A beautiful leopard, huh? Very beautiful. I just think, Alex, good. Awesome, huh? Very good. I, I, good. I just heard a splash and turned around and there it was. Yeah. Amazing, the tracks, the way we have spotted there, and it, it shows us it's a very fresh tracks, and we have to follow up. We get here, we can't see leopard. The birds keep on telling us, boys, there's leopard around in the area. You know, if all these uh, telegram in the bush, uh, it's, it's useful. It's very useful. All signal of the birds is very useful to go out in the wild and understand it clearly. Um, actually, we haven't uh, spotted the right leopard that we're looking for. There's a two tracks of the leopard. This is a young, young male leopard, and we are having two. There's a tracks of Mafufuya that comes here, and the other tracks that we've seen, I thought maybe it's a female leopard. It was this young male leopard. So it means Mafufuya has been here also, and this young leopard has been into the area. It might be two leopards around in the area. We have to check very careful because we have spotted two different uh, leopard tracks. So it's, it's very amazing. Look at the leopard. It can blend in into any, co in any color of the grass and also from the bush itself. I don't know if Pablo are happy because we, we, we located this uh, animal. So, so we're going to like cut the Franklin. Very, very young leopard. Uh, beautiful looking. Leopard is a very social species. They're always living, being alone. Leopard can survive from anything small, as far as birds, they can hunt even an insect, up to you So we're here, and the, this young male leopard is cutting Franklin. He's having it there, he's starting to enjoy it. Although it's very, very low into the ground, we weren't able to see it clearly. That the areas look like it's a little bit thick. Look at that. Again, what is that? It's not a Franklin. The second catch it happened in front of us <laughs> into the water. Brilliant. It is it look like a mongoose. I thought maybe from the distance it's a Franklin. It's something that can really move on the ground. It's got a fur of, I mean is very brownish in color. What could be that? It look like a bended mongoose. I'm not sure exactly. Yes, it's nice play. Look, it's giving us some action here. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, uh, those long, young leopards, most of them are very inquisitive and also playing. As you can see, it doesn't finish the animal itself. It gives a lot of experience on the animal itself to be quick and also practice on catching. So it keep on uh, leaving the animal, leaving the mangoes to go back into the water and catch it back again, bring it out in land. So we're going to witness, we're going to be quite, look like this, a little bit skittish uh, young male leopard, but we're going to enjoy whatever it's going to do here. Unfortunately, internet is down. If it could be more questions, we should have to answer now, and it's making us more um, focus on whatever we should have to brief people. Alex, yeah. you know why that leopard is doing that? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Maybe to practice hunting. <laughs> yeah, sure. practice makes perfect. If you do it, it uh, now and then, it makes perfect. And it really have it, it, it. I mean, those skills is required for himself when he goes into other food. Also, quick and grabbing when it uh, gets to dominant. It's not a dominant male leopard. It's still young. Once in his future, it's going to require all of this experience. 
quickness, grabbing, fighting, it will be more needed. We can go a little bit before, if you don't mind. Do you mind? I just want to uh, wait, yeah. wait for him to settle a little bit. It looked like the tail is moving up and down. He was not relaxed. Oh, beautiful leopard. We were amazed because when we came here, we have spotted this urine on top of um, the Zizifas, I mean, the Combitams, the Yoris, and it was still dripping. And for sure, we were, I was, I mean, I was confused because checking around, not seeing the leopard, and the way the freshness of the urine and the freshness of the tracks itself, it tells me that it's it's somewhere around into the area. It might be, as you know, he might be still doing this game, other side of the water, hiding. So we definitely, yeah, at the end, spotted him. He's giving more action. We're gonna um, report this into the game drive channel if anyone's willing to come here. Station we three of them located uh, one Madoda Yang Ingwa uh, stationary at the water. Yeah, affirmative. Okay, let's go uh, on to the cut line. I'll make my way down there. Copy. Uh, we'll keep you informed. Uh, now, Ingo is still stationary. It's very amazing. A beautiful young leopard looking. As I mentioned, it's all is not the dominant male into the area. Definitely to be honest, um, I'll try to zoom in then we can get to see the spot pattern correctly. For us, it's good having, for me, I can calculate on the right hand side is having three. So he's looking into directly to the camera. We have to zoom more in again. That's the first one. It might be one of the young leopards um, that coming from north. It's called Beacon Young Male. Definitely it's him. I mean, leopard in this age is becoming a nomadic wherever he goes. He doesn't have territory. He keep on crossing the other's leopard territory. And that is a risk for the young male leopard to survive on that condition because it's becoming an easy target from the dominant males that are operating into the area. As I know that from experience, other leopard is a bigger threat when it in, enter into the territory of a dominant male. So being young like this, if a dominant male found him here because his area is, is going to have an argument, is going to fight with him, or he's going to push him out. If he can, he's going to kill him. And that way, he's reducing the competition of the future. Because this young man, Leopard, is going to challenge him when it comes to dominant issue. We're going to see it clearly what, what, yeah, it's a white face duck. You can see that clearly. You can see now, we can understand clearly it's not the mongols. It's a white face duck, which the time we were here, the leopard was hunting the white-faced duck. He was ducking somewhere very close, ambushing for the white-faced duck to come set close. We were just driving around there while the leopard might be in a tall grassy somewhere here. Because the white-faced duck is a duck that always inside the water. It will never ever go out, in, out of the water. It lives inside the water and the edges of water sometimes where the leopard was ambushing. Waiting for the white face duck to come so closely. 